Capricorn, what is popping? What's going on, my babies? How are you? What is it like to do? What is it like to be a Capricorn from now until the fifteenth of August? It's gonna be popping. It is. It is. I have beautiful things to tell you. I feel it in my bones. So we finna get right to it. This is for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross watches of Capricorn. If this is your first time to my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. <laughs> welcome to Mocha Love Tarot. To all of the new subscribers, welcome to the family. To all of my remaining subscribers, y'all, we be lit. I love y'all to pieces by the millions, trillions, billions. Thank y'all for all of those comments, y'all. Thank you for the views. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the positive inspiration. Y'all, thank you for interacting with one another. We family, thank you so much. I love y'all with everything of me. I'm going to embark on a new journey soon with my music. Um, y'all actually inspired me to do that a lot. I've already always been singing, but the love that I get from YouTube inspires me to really want to share. So I'm going to be working on some new stuff where I'm able to... Um, incorporate my music uh, information how to get it into the regions and I'll also start um, trying to work on a little intro video I'm trying to upgrade okay baby let me upgrade you all right so Capricorn this will be from the 1st to the 15th of August if you need a personal okay that, that information can be found in the description um, if you are needing well just send me an email if you need a personal Hit me up, all right? Also, it's general, okay? So it may or may not resonate with everybody. Take it how it goes. If it does not uh, resonate, please check your uh, your rising and your moon signs and your Venus and all that beautiful stuff as well, okay? So let's rock. This will be from the 1st to the 15th of August for my Capricorns, all right? So I did pull a Doreen Virtue Crystal Angels Oracle Card message for you guys. I got Turquoise, Spiritual Path, okay? It says, oh, it says, your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you. Which prompts you to make necessary life changes. Okay, Capricorn, y'all finna leave some stuff for people behind. I see it's retrograde, finna be interesting. This card comes to you because you've been praying and meditating about your spiritual path. You may be feeling conflicts with your true beliefs, wondering whether to take a traditional or alternative route. Perhaps you've been studying or attending different religious or spiritual groups, trying to see where you fit in and find other people aligned with your values. Your religious upbringing and family culture are factors here. While you would like to make your spiritual path decisions independently, you find yourself being influenced by your past. You also want to make the right choice that is best for your soul, and you do recognize that some traditional beliefs have merit. Even when people have the same religion, faith, same religious faith, they have different interpretations. It's unlikely that any two individuals agree on every aspect of religion or spirituality because it's a deeply personal experience. Your life lessons continue to shape your beliefs, so keep praying and following your guidance. Finding people who have similar or complementary beliefs, even if they're even if they're not identical, can lead to the deep friendships and help and help you navigate your own spiritual path. Y'all need glasses as fuck. This card can also be about a relationship that is experiencing conflicts because partners have different religious or spiritual convictions. This is a challenging situation for both people. And it needs to be handled with prayer and often counseling. Capricorn, speak your peace, okay? Speak your damn peace. If it's not working for you, if you can't get with it, if you can't grow from it, speak your peace and release yourselves, okay? Um, I do see a lot of y'all are going to be birthing something new. Some of y'all have new jobs in the in the play. Hello. From the 1st to the 15th of August, okay? You're grounding yourself. For those of you whose third eye whose, whose third eye has recently opened, okay? The 1st to the 15th of August, you're going to be more creative about the things that you want to grow. You're going to see things, relationship, people, places from a whole different perspective. You're going to see things more so for what they are, okay? Also, trust your dreams during this time as they are as they are trying to tell you, okay, about a financial opportunity that could be coming your way if you choose to invest in it in a creative manner, okay? What are you passionate about? What do you love? Some of y'all whose third eye is open, it's popping. It's going to be popping before um, between the 1st and the 15th of August. Some of y'all are going into divine union with yourself. Your masculine and your feminine energy are coming into union. They're mirroring their map. Mirroring that they're marrying one another, okay. So you are feeling completely balanced during the first to the 15th of August. You will be feeling 100% balanced. You're going to be feeling renewed, okay. You're going to be some of y'all are going to be aligning your chakras, okay. Always awesome to um, 
stay on that chakra work, okay? You have to stay balanced, stay grounded during this time. I do see some of y'all will be in nature. It's a lot of nature here. For those of you who are taking trips, okay, you're going to be enlightened um, during that trip in the nature between the 1st and the 15th of August, right? So I do see for those of you who are giving birth, okay, possibly within Earth sign, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, like yourself, congratulations, my baby. Some of y'all are going to be finding out about pregnancies between the 1st and the 15th. Right, Capricorn, some of y'all between the 1st and 15th will be making a judgment call. You're going to be making a judgment call, possibly in, in matters to the heart, okay, with love, with a, with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, all right? I feel like you truly want to birth this. You want to make it beautiful again, okay? Some of y'all, it's um, a, a Cancer. Some of y'all are going to be starting a soulmate relationship with the cancer, okay? I feel like who I'm talking to, y'all have completely walked away from your past, or this person will be completely walking away from their past, all right? But some of y'all who have walked away from someone in the past that is a water sign, and you actually working on your money, focusing on your finances, okay? I do see your finances are going to be looking good. Some of y'all, if you're having issues in a relationship having to do with finances, and you feel like finances has been what's kind of been de having your relationship feeling like you're at a depletion state. I do feel like some of y'all need to be true to yourself. Some of y'all want to be by y'all damn self, okay? Because you feel like when your money your money flows better when you're by yourself. Some of y'all want to be more independent. Some of y'all, there's money in the things that you're passionate about. Communicate. You may be receiving communications regarding, the thing, uh, regarding your passions, okay? This could be, I feel like I'm speaking to my musicians, my writers. This is going to be a time that you move forward and communicate passionately about where you want to go, what do you want, what do you expect, whether that's passion, love, any of the ships, okay? Uh, do see some of y'all have a soulmate, a divine lover, okay, trying to come through. This is Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, could be this Cancer right here. But this person wants to move away, wants to move away with you. This person wants to move towards you and start something new, to birth something, a new beginning, a new tangible beginning, something that you can see, okay? I do see some of y'all, y'all may have a Cancer, okay, that could have moved away. It could be me, the cancer that could have moved away from an air sign, okay? And this person may be coming in, and this person may not have much, and some of y'all are kind of make a judgment call because you feel like you don't want this person to take away from you. You feel like, you know, my money may be affected, but what you don't know is that this person is going to be adding to you, not taking from you, okay? But some of y'all walking away from your past, okay? Some of y'all who are leaving jobs, they have to leave jobs between this time, you're going to find another job, and it's going to be something that you're very passionate about. All right, some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all are trying to work on, some of y'all are staying stuck in situations, okay, due to finances, or you have a Sagittarius that feels stuck to you, okay, because you are the breadwinner, all right? I do see you're going to be receiving communication from a fire sign, someone that you're passionate about, okay, this could be someone who you're fighting with as well, all right, but this person, this person is going to communicate with you between the first and the 15, some of y'all are not going to like what the hell this person has to say, because I feel like this person talks very, very, very reckless, okay, but I do see for the most part, you're waiting on messages to come in to assist you in making this judgment call to know where your next steps are going, for some of y'all, it's about starting over with a water sign, and this person is your soulmate, and the relationship can be beautiful, but y'all have to completely move away from your past. Some of y'all have a uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius coming in between the 1st and the 15th. This person don't want nothing but sex. They're going to sex you down and leave you, okay? So if your intuition is telling you that, trust it. Some of y'all have a, to a whole new beginning, possibly with the fire sign. Aries Leo Sag, this is not the person who I'm speaking of. Uh, who coming in and out. I'm speaking of someone who's possibly been there, okay, could be a Sagittarius, someone who's been there and they want to work on it. They want to start something new with you. They want to get, they want to commit. They want to hold on to you. Some of y'all got a fire sign or an earth sign holding on to y'all for money, okay, and in order to be successful financially and get back on your feet, because I feel like this is my Capricorns who is going through some type of financial hardship, y'all have someone hanging in, y'all hanging in a relationship strictly for what you do for them, and that could be someone that you have children with, okay, but you need them to compassionately communicate with this person that you ain't having that shit, we gonna work on it the right way, the twos of us, or we not gonna make it happen at all, right, but y'all do, I feel like some of y'all are feeling burdened by love, some of y'all have a fire sign that you're loving on, okay? Or this could also be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And this person feels burdened by starting something new. I feel like this person wants to live in the past, all right? You could also be dealing with someone who's juggling yourself, juggling you and a... Er, hold up. 
Capricorn, you could have somebody juggling a Cancer and a water, I mean, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong emphasis on that Cancer, as well as the Earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of y'all could also be juggling two jobs and your relationship is very rocky. You need to move away from one of them jobs in order to bring stability back. And I feel like it's the job that's been on your ass about crazy shit, okay? For, uh, well, to some of y'all, I would call it dumb shit, okay? That, and you're not understanding what's going on. The universe is working, baby. Okay, so just don't be, don't be too attached to worldly things during this time. All right. Some of y'all are coming into a new cycle. If you've been having financial hardships in the past, you're going to receive a a new passionate opportunity. Okay, to move forward, and it's going to bring the coins. Some of y'all have a um. Some of y'all have been hanging a job waiting on a promotion. That between the first and fifteenth of August, that promotion is coming. Okay, and it's going to come out of nowhere. Some of y'all have an Aries Leo Sagittarius. They want to renew something with you. Strong emphasis on the Leo as well. They want to renew something with you in love. And I feel like this is internal. This is an internal fight for you because you focus on your money. So you really don't want to get serious about anything. Some of y'all have a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you're fighting with between the 1st and 15th. Um, of August, and it, uh, honestly, it has to do with communication, okay? Because this person is your soulmate. Some of y'all, um, some of y'all can be cutting off a Gemini as well and going into a new cycle to start something new. And I feel like it has to do with deception. This person is a juggler. Okay, and you're just going to seek your peace. I'm not having it. I understand we have children or whatever, but now, nah, again, damn it, this lovers failed twice in two different decks. But again, some of y'all have, some of y'all going to be charging towards the Gemini to communicate with them. For some of y'all, y'all going to cut their ass off because you want something new. Okay, or you want to communicate with them. What the hell you're not having in order to move to something new because you know that this person is a soulmate, okay? Or a twin flame to you. The fact that it's here, I feel like it's extra it's emphasis on it because I got the lovers and the ace of cups two times, too, and the lovers two times. But some of y'all is someone who you have children with, okay? This Gemini, you could definitely have a child with this person. I feel like this person, this person loves childishly. They express their love childishly and you need to communicate. Communication is needed to be had, okay? In order to balance out the scales, you're going into a new cycle. For some of y'all, you're ending a cycle, okay? Some of y'all could be ending a cycle with the Libra as well. And some of y'all could be ending the cycle by going through the justice system. Some of y'all are getting out of marriages or uh, communicating that you want to be out of marriages between the 1st and the 15th or receiving this, okay? Some of y'all have a new beginning. I told y'all them babies in the building, Taurus, Libra. Some of y'all got new babies coming with Taurus and Libra. Aries as well. I also look at this as Virgo. Some of y'all have passionate beginnings. Some of y'all are going to create something new that is going to bring the coin and you're going to love it. It's maybe offered to you between the 1st and the 15th. Y'all definitely have two decisions to make, and one of them involves moving away from somebody, someone who already makes you feel rejected or makes you feel like you're not enough it's, um, already, okay? So this is what I have for my beautiful Capricorns between the 1st and the 15th of August. I love you long, long time. I will have a 30-minute special. I think I'm going to put out my 30 minutes, um, and this is starting today, um, but it's going to be, I think I'm going to be, I, I'm doing 30 minutes for $40 for Leos, but I think I'm going to do $40, 30-minute readings for the next uh, 48 to 72 hours all day. So my start time with this is going to be at 8 a.m. my time. Um, and my end time is going to be at 12, um, midnight my time. Okay. So we're going to get it. If you need an appointment, hit me up. I'm going to try to get you in the same day. Okay. So I love you very, very much Capricorns until the mid August videos. Mwah. Peace, love, and hair grease, baby. <laughs> Bye y'all. <laughs>